hello guys welcome back to my new video on my channels in this video i will be guiding you what is the function in the python so i am a kundan kumar of your instructor so let's get started so what is the function you know function is a set of instruction that performs some specific task and the function may return a value how to create a user defined function in the python def def is a keyword to create a function in the python function name is user defined function name which is a mandatory parameters is optional means argument that you want to pass into the function and followed by double colon this double colon say it's the end of the function signature and the function body starts from this is a doc string in the red color you can see this doc string is a short description of the function if you want to give the short description of the function the which user can you know for using it you can use it but this if you want to add a doc string of the user defined function this doc string must be within a triple double quotation it optional if you want to add it add it now thereafter we have a statement to one a statement to a statement three n number of a statement it means this is a mandatory you cannot a function must have at least one statement one line two line depends at least one line so this is a compulsory and we have a return a statement so function may return you know value so this return is a keyword we'll talk in the further videos when you watch it full <coughs> you will understand what is the return a statement so this is also optional function may return value may not return the value so let's get started how to create a user defined function make it as a markdown just for the heading run it so when you can see what is the syntax syntax is a def so def 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 now we can write the function name so i will take a simple example of the function name called the sum we can say add for our addition then function can have you know the function may have a parameter may not have parameter so let me teach you with without parameter so we can say here as a comment function definition without parameter without parameter so here no parameter so function body starts make sure the after the header of the function this is signature or header of the function after the double colon the next statement must have the indent this white space must have indent in order to instruct to the computer the next statement is a part of the function not outside the function so let me create since it is addition so we need to have you know <coughs> two inputs so here let me take a compile time initialization so i'm writing the x is equal to 10 y equal to 20.5 result equal to x plus y and then we can print okay this line can be summarized in one line but since it's for the beginner i'm just splitting all the instruction in the separate you know line to make you understand so this is now i have done it so this is called the function is a set of instruction it perform a specific task which is the addition that is a specific task and it may return or may not return so in this function i'm not returning so this is called the function definition if you want to use this function you need to call this function so i can write here you can see i'm not this line is outside the function because i removed the indent at the beginning so calling python function so how do we call to use this function we need to call the function name is addition so i'm writing addition is a function name since this function have no parameter this function have no parameter so no parameter i'm passing i'm just writing like this so on run this function if i run this one if i run this one you can see here 30.5 what is happening when you call this function this function the controller will be Call go with here so this function called this function is doing x is equal to 10 y equal to 20.5 and then they will do the summation of x plus y and put in the result and this result is printing here and then after printing this the fun the system control will come back automatically at the line number 9 or we can say it depends so in it the system control come back from where the function was called so it was called from line number 9 so it will come back line number 9 so now this 30.5 is printed let's go and see so this three type of argument we have it 
So we are going to see each and every one. So we are going to see here default argument. Let me make it as a markdown. This load and run it, and we are going to see. So here we can say defining diff function name addition same function name. I'm writing here as a default argument. So I'm writing number one because we are talking about the addition. So at least two number of you know operands do we need at least you can go three numbers addition, four number addition. We'll check ahead. So number one, num two. And we are talking about the default argument. So let me complete this code, then I will tell you what is the meaning of the default. So guys, I can do same things here. So I can do it here like a result result equal to num1 plus num2 then i can print result after printing result this is called the function definition now i'm going to call the function addition addition if i call this addition here see in this function uh, looking for the two parameters and i'm calling this function addition you can see i'm calling this function addition without parameters let's see what happens error so let me run it i'm running you can see the function is giving type errors means they're saying addition is missing to a required positional argument which is num1 num2 means you are calling the function addition without parameter but this function in signature you can see num1 num2 so the this function ex expecting two arguments but we are passing no so in this case what we can do if you are a function creator you are the owner of the function or you are creating the your defined function so in case you can give then if you just does not pass a parameter then what default value you want to assign into this uh, num1 num2 so we can see since the addition better to give it zero and zero so if i am not passing any parameter the this is called the default argument means if i am not don't if the user don't pass the parameter of the function then system automatically assign default value which you have given here so here number one is equal to zero number two is equal to zero this is because this is the addition guys so this is called the default value default value depends how much to put it depends on the kind of function you are creating here i'm talking about the addition this zero plus zero is no value if i put one and one and one is become two so two is some value with zero is also value but having no much sense so here what i mean to say here Keyword argument means let us clean it, make it clean, clean, clear everything from the basic. Keyword argument means you are passing the number of here, you know, this function definition having the two parameters. It can have a 10 parameter, 20 parameters in the function signature. So it is not easy to, you know, remember uh, the keep track of all the order of the arguments number one is two number two is two it depends you know the difference of the fun name of the function you know you have a name of the function which is not addition something different and the different kind of parameters you need to pass it so you may not remember the order of the parameters in that case what we can do while calling the function in the python we can use the keyword arguments so what is the keyword arguments while you are calling the function we use the name of the argument in whichever you want name the use use the name of the arguments and assign the value into this so you can see here i'm using the number one number two as a first and but in the num2 is a second in the function definition but when function calling i'm writing num2 is a first and num1 is a second okay so what will happen when you call the function here num2 will be assigned into the num2 here automatically and this num1 will be assigned into 1 because we are using the arguments name here and we are assigning the value of argument so this is called the keyword arguments so let's call this and we heard it we got it 24 plus 12 is 36 fine let's go to the another parameters arguments we go to the runner arguments called the arbitrary arguments so let me copy paste again this one copy and paste it same program and we create here num addition of two number with default parameter addition of two number with keyword parameters but you know it can happen that you are you'd like to add uh, addition of n numbers of list like a 20 numbers 30 numbers 40 numbers 
50 numbers, it depends, it keep increasing dynamically. So how to handle those kind of, how to write, you know, user defined function which can handle the n number of, uh, you know, addition of n numbers. So how will you do that? So the, the arbitrary argument will help us. So I'm going to write the same function addition and I'm writing here a strict numbers. What will happen? These strict tell us the arbitrary arguments. Means any number of list you pass, these numbers is going to hold as a tuple. As a tuple. And I taught you what is the tuple, guys. It will store in the tuple. So now this numbers is going to hold. So we can iterate this since it is a tuple. This star numbers will receive as a tuple. So we'll, you know, we can iterate this one. So we can write here one number called the sum equal to 0 and then for n in numbers these numbers this one these numbers then we are iterating we can do sum plus equal to equal to n now auto after this one we can print so here what is now this is a function definition let us me call this function so now i'm calling the rb trary function oh sorry rb Trary arguments. So what we can say? What is the function name? Addition. Addition. We pass here n number: two comma five comma four comma one comma twelve comma you know ten comma as many as number you want. So this all the list that you are sending. So this function is called. So this function is called the sub function. We call this is the one. This two five four one twelve thirteen is will be transferred as a tuple into this okay and this number is being iterated using this for loop so each time they read one number first time of two second time five four four like up to exhausted and each time you read you are melt you are not much sorry not multiplying it's do you are doing the addition sum of these numbers at the then after the for loop this is after the for loop guys you can see this is a for loop is indent here so this for loop is uh, this sum is printed at the end of the for loop. So you can try and run this program. You can see 34, 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 11, 11 plus 1 is 12, 12 plus uh, 12 is uh, 24, 24, 10 is 34. So this is a 34. So this is a uh, functions with arbitrary arguments. Now you can see here in the syntax of the function we have seen the function is a set of instructions and which perform a specific task and it may return the value so let me show you how the function may return the value so we can see here run it here so let me create same function i can copy paste any function that i have created above guys anyone any function you can copy paste then you can just write here instead of print I can write return sum okay if you want to put in the bracket you can put in the bracket it is just variable so what is the happening this function now is using the this is a function this is called the set of instructions so this is a set of instructions it performs a specific task yeah it's performing addition task and it may return the value so it's returning the value which is sum so this function using the return statement so what is the return statement Return statement is a statement uh, which return the system control back to the uh, place where uh, from where it was called so you can see the addition function is being called from the line number eight so when you call the addition function it will be you know system control will be sent at the line number one they will execute this line all and after that you are returning the sum so where are you returning you are returning here because the addition function was called from here so now you can see when you run this one this function it will return 34 guys so this was so far the you know what is the function what is the syntax of the function how to create a user defined function and function argument which is a default argument keyword argument arbitrary arguments and we have seen here simple how to you know define the default argument you can see we are defining their default arguments here you can see we are passing the uh, 
parameter to the function using the keyword argument where we are changing the order of the variables here you can see here in arbitrary where you can pass n number of list you can keep increasing here i can increase again like a 20 comma 30 comma as many as you want to increase and still this strict you know as strict numbers is able to accommodate as a tuple and we can iterate these numbers to sum of the all those numbers and it print it so run it you can get it some and then I am trying to show you what is the return statement so you can see this function is returning a result of you know summation of the numbers and we are printing so guys these are uh, functions user defined function let me teach you the some um, what is the lambda function lambda function is a uh, called as uh, anonymous function anonymous means we have not given any specific name of the function the function whenever you need it you can create without a given name and it, this function is written in a one line and this to create a lambda function we use the lambda keyword so syntax of this one can be syntax of this function is so this is a syntax of lambda guys you can see lambda is a keyword followed by the argument argument followed by a double colon and double colon followed by expression so this is syntax we we'll use it generally so we can create a simple lambda function we can see declaring lambda function so we can give the any name equivalent to anonymous simply okay anony equal to this is a variable we are calling the lambda 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 is a function sorry keyword to create a function we can give them x is argument double colon x plus 2 so now we are so we use this name here uh, we can pass one here equal to we pass might be 10 so what will happen since we are this is anonymous name so when we call this one this variable we are using these variables because this variable is going to hold the you know the uh, result of this one so here we have not given any name of the function this is lambda but uh, this is doing the arithmetic operation x plus 2 so when you call the equiv enemy this is just user defined name so this 10 become a part of this x so x will be substituted with 10 and this is x another expression so x plus 2 is equal to 12 so then let's run and this is this will become sorry this lambda function returning 12 so what is the happening when you are using these variables you are equal to lambda is a keyword to create a lambda functions with the one parameter two parameter three parameters as many as parameter you want which is written in the single line you can see it's a single line so here i'm using the simple arithmetic operations x plus two so when you call this function using this variable name here you are using this variable simple to call this lambda function and pass in the bracket this 10 so this 10 will be substituted with the x and then x value is 10 so 10 plus 2 is 12 so fine guys so this was a session of the functions like my videos please do subscribe and share and like the